Um, for me, if Rookie of the Year was picked today, I give it to Angel. Okay. Angel Reese has to get the nod. Now, I know it's not a popular, popular uh, position to take because Angel Reese has to do the dirty work. He's right above And him. the sky right now are in the playoffs, so you'd have to give the nod in my mind to Angel Reese. Look. Caitlin Clark, the 22-year-old Indiana Fever rookie, has been playing like an MVP this season, but the haters are relentless. Despite her jaw-dropping performances, some people just can't seem to give her the credit she deserves. But not everyone is staying silent. NFL legend Shannon Sharp has stepped in with a powerful message aimed directly at those who have been doubting Clark's dominance. Sharp didn't hold back. He recently took aim at ESPN analysts who have been critical of Clark, especially those who have refused to pick her for WNBA Rookie of the Year. Yeah, the, but there's a lot of women that was on ESPN that had a lot to say earlier about this. I had they gone quiet now. You say they quiet? Y'all quiet now? Now I want somebody to send that to you because you know who I'm talking about. I ain't gonna call your name, but you know who y'all. Y'all had a lot to say early. Y'all had a lot to say early. And if you think I'm talking to you, I am. <laughs> hey, make no mistake about it. I'm talking to you. You know who y'all. One of your were a former coach. Though Sharp didn't name names, it was clear who he was talking about. His comments seemed to be directed at ESPN analyst and former coach Carolyn Peck, who went viral in July for choosing Angel Reese over Clark for Rookie of the Year. Peck praised Reese for putting up grown woman numbers, implying that Clark didn't measure up. A big question. If you had to log your vote today, who would your Rookie of the Year be in the WNBA? Really tight. But when you look at where the teams are, and I also went a little deeper and I looked at plus minus and I also look at net rating. And when you look at that, Angel Reese has to get the nod. Angel Reese has to do the dirty work. I have said it's not sexy to have to battle and rebound inside and where you've got to do the blue collar work. But this is a player that has come in as a rookie and is putting up grown woman numbers. But Sharp wasn't done. He hinted at another target, this time referencing Monica McNutt another ESPN analyst and former college basketball player. McNutt also picked Reese over Clark, citing Chicago Sky's better record as her justification. I have said this all season, BC. My rookie of the year is going to go based on the standing. Above and them. the Sky right now are in the playoffs, so you'd have to give the nod in my mind to Angel Reese. Look, 12 double-doubles to start uh, is the record that spanned over two seasons. She's already gotten to 11. While WNBA legend Lisa Leslie has tried to strike a balance, suggesting that both Clark and Reese deserve recognition, the numbers tell a different story. Clark is far ahead in both stats and impact, with Reese averaging 13.3 points and 13.1 rebounds per game. Efficiency has been a struggle, especially with her team losing six games in a row. Leslie's attempt to favor Reese over Clark doesn't hold up, especially after their latest head-to-head -head clash. In their most recent showdown, the Indiana Fever demolished the Chicago Sky 100, 81, taking the season series 3-1. Clark was unstoppable, finishing with a season-high 31 points and 12 assists, while Reese managed just 10 points and 11 rebounds in a night she'd rather forget. This season, Clark has been nothing short of extraordinary. She's averaging 18.7 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 8.4 assists per game shooting 42.4% from the field and 34.1% from beyond the arc. Since the Olympic break, she's taken her game to another level, leading the Fever to a 6-1 record while putting up 24.6 points, 5.0 rebounds, and 9.0 assists per game. It's no wonder she's now no. Three in the MVP odds, a testament to her phenomenal impact in her rookie season. Clark isn't just in the Rookie of the Year conversation. She's in the MVP conversation, too. And for those who doubted her, it's time to face the facts. Caitlin Clark is the real deal. Caitlin Clark is redefining what it means to be a rookie in the WNBA, and her latest performance against the Dallas Wings proves it once again. After utterly dominating Angel Reese in the Chicago Sky with 31 points and 12 assists, Clark in the Indiana Fever faced a crucial test against the Dallas Wings. This game was more than just another matchup. It was a chance for the Fever to climb above the .500 mark for the first time this season. And as usual, Clark did not disappoint. From the opening tip-off, Clark was a force of nature, 
she put on absolute masterclass, scoring 28 points and dishing out 12 assists, leading the Fever to a 191 victory over the Wings. Clark's 5 of 11 shooting from beyond the arc kept the Wings' defense on their heels all night. But it wasn't just her scoring that left everyone in awe. It was her ability to distribute the ball with pinpoint accuracy. This performance was so incredible that Clark made WNBA history again. As noted by Stat Mamba, she became the first rookie in either the WNBA or NBA to record 25-plus points, 10-plus assists, and 5-plus three-pointers in consecutive games. Let that sink in for a moment. She's breaking records that have stood for decades. Her coach sides in this team. Clark comes back at answers. Up ahead, Clark, beautiful pass to Mitchell. You talked about it at the open. Weak side. Oh, great play, and it ends up in Caitlin Clark. But Caitlin Clark wasn't just about making history. She's about changing the game. With this latest performance, Clark became the first rookie in WNBA history to reach 600 points and 250 assists in a single season. She's now just the eighth rookie ever to score over 600 points, joining an elite club of players in a league that's seen over 1,000 rookies. And if that wasn't enough, Clark now holds the record for the most double-doubles by a guard in a single WNBA season. She's not just a rookie. She's already one of the best players in the league. Pointer made. Every field goal made has been three and Clark. A lot about the coaching and how they were able to keep people together. See, check this out here. Her head's up. She's seeing. She saw Natasha Howard come over. We call that trapping the box. But Clark wasn't the only Fever star lighting up the scoreboard. Kelsey Mitchell was on fire, dropping a career-high 36 points on 5 of 7 shooting from deep. Mitchell has been on a tear since the Olympic break, scoring 20 or more points in every game and breaking her own franchise record for consecutive 20-plus point games. Together, Clark and Mitchell are becoming one of the most unstoppable backcourt duos in the league. In their last five games, they've combined for an astonishing 50.4 points per game. They're not just winning games, they're redefining what it means to dominate. In the loss, now she goes in the paint, rolls it over the front of the rim. Mitchell looks to push, leads Indiana in scoring 18-5, and she's got four already. Howard. Mitchell buries the three, that was pretty. The highlight reel from this game is something you have to see to believe. Just two minutes into the game, Clark grabbed a rebound off a Dallas miss and started dribbling down the court. What happened next was pure magic. Clark made a perfect full-court bounce pass to Mitchell, who caught the ball under her own hoop and instantly made a behind-the-back pass around a defender to Nalisa Smith for an easy layup. This epic play has taken social media by storm, and it's easy to see why. This duo is not just playing basketball. They're putting on a show. Off the mark. Clark comes down. There's one of those long passes. Oh, a little French pastry from Chelsea Mitchell. After the game, Clark and Mitchell were seen meeting with WNBA legend Cynthia Cooper, and the moment was electric. Fans couldn't get enough of the interaction between Clark and Cooper, a four-time WNBA champion and two-time MVP. This meeting wasn't just a passing of the torch. It was a recognition of the greatness that Clark is bringing to the league. What Caitlin Clark has done for the game is generational. These were the words of Hall of Famer Nancy Lieberman, who couldn't hold back her admiration for Caitlin Clark during the third quarter of a game that had fans on the edge of their seats. Oh, yeah. What Caitlin Clark has done for the game is, is generational. And I just, as a, as a baller to a baller, I just want to say thank you to you, Caitlin Clark. Absolutely. For just lifting our game up, you and so many great players. But what you're doing, you're going to make all these women multimillionaires one day. Lieberman's statement isn't just high praise. It's a testament to the seismic impact Clark has had on the WNBA in such a short time. And it's not just legends like Lieberman who are taking notice. Kelsey Mitchell, Clark's dynamic backcourt partner on the Indiana Fever, tried to put into words what makes their duo so special. With a sense of awe, Mitchell shared, I think that me and Caitlin, as well as our crew, I think we just found a way to, for one, understand one another. I think our pace is kind of setting us apart from a lot of different teams. Sunday's performance marked Clark's sixth game with at least 20 points and 10 assists, setting yet another WNBA single-season record. And she's doing this while leading her team to a winning season.
The Fever are now 17-16 in sixth place in the league and on the verge of securing a playoff berth. Indiana hasn't seen a winning season since 2015, but with Clark and Mitchell leading the way, this team is poised to make some serious noise in the playoffs. Caitlin Clark's impact on the WNBA goes beyond just statistics. She's drawing fans like never before, even in opposing arenas. Dallas Wings forward. Satu Sabali summed it up perfectly when she joked that while it's great to see more fans in the stands, it's a little less fun when so many of them are cheering for the fever. Obviously, it's annoying um, because there were way too many Caitlin fans in our <laughs> <laughs> um, But, like, it just kudos because yeah. it's amazing to see so many people in women's basketball jerseys. It's amazing to see the yeah. excitement and the, the joy that comes out of that. So, although I feel like our Dallas fans could have done better, <laughs> I, I had mixed feelings, obviously, seeing all the Caitlin jerseys in our home. But it's, it's an amazing sign for women's basketball. The Fever have set a DUNBA attendance record with over 500,000 fans for their 33 games, and the entire league's attendance is up nearly 20% this year. And much of that surge in popularity can be attributed to Clark's electrifying performances. She's not just a rookie sensation. She's a league-altering talent who's drawing in fans from all over the country. So much support for Caitlin Clark. Because uh, she's the best. Uh, she lets things roll off of her. And she's just an all-around great player. And the Lego threes. With all the records she's broken and the impact she's had on Fever's success this season, it's clear that we're beyond the point of discussing Caitlin Clark as just a rookie. She's already one of the best players in the WNBA, period. This season has been nothing short of historic for Clark, and she continues to break new records every night. As the fever push toward the playoffs, you can bet that Clark and Mitchell will keep their foot on the gas. So buckle up, because this duo is just getting started, and we can expect even more fireworks in their next game. Don't miss it.